Does anyone else? Like, all random. <laughs> oh lordy, we got an interesting game ahead of us here. We are in a Turin pop-up tournament group stage. I have randomed Carino without the critical Princess Ergulan. I have also spawned apparently in like the dead center of the map. Uh, oh, we got some lag. Boys are pausing to check things out. <clears throat> this is... I don't, I don't want to call it worst case scenario, but it is a bad scenario. It is a bad case that we got here. Oh lordy. Oh lordy lordy. Who'd we get? We got Zoom Garan, so if anyone does truce with me, we'll be, we'll be pretty boss. Um, we got Hasimir Fenring, that's the good, that's the good news. Hasimir's great, we love him. But no Urulan means I can't double build buildings. <clears throat> means... Again, we're in the, the center of the map. Look at that gap between the edge of the map and my base. My god, it's like four regions. Oh! Alright, well, it's an all random. We knew things could be random. Let's make some troops. We're gonna need more conscripts. Oh lordy. We also are in the... I haven't mentioned, we also are in the group of death here. We have Doghead, a former former tournament champion. We have Hadris, a former tournament finalist and uh, multi-instrumentalist expert. Though I don't think he's played very much. Alright, whatever, let's try. Alright, Doghead's ready to go. And we've got... Uh, we've got Psychedela. Psychedela who is um, one of the pillars of the community, Majesty. has literally thousands of hours played. Yes, uh, <laughs> and me, a guy who makes some videos sometimes. Oh boy. We'll see how it goes. Um, Psychedil is on the Vernius, which is good, because <laughs> Vernius is terrible. I don't love Doghead on the Fremen. Um, Hadri's on the Smugglers um, is probably good because Smugglers are pretty tricky and Hadri's is out of practice, so we got that going for us. We're worried a bit about the dog, I think, but what are you going to do? Lordy lord, it's going to be an interesting game, boys. Let's just uh, let's focus on our fundamentals and get going. <clears throat> let's get this uh, refinery up and about. This place is Agent Recruitment Speed and Water. Those are pretty boring, but... We, it is what it is, or it's gonna be weird not being able to double build buildings. By weird, I mean bad. It's gonna be bad not being able to double build buildings. Doghead's got a lot of got a lot of lag, apparently. Give him a frowny face. Sorry about that, Doghead. You guys will grab that. We're just gonna pillage this actually because there's no redeeming value to this village except as a source of money. Oh lordy lord. What do we got around us? There's an abandoned Imperial Station down there, which ordinarily we would love if you could double build buildings, but it's just a normal, just a normal buildings for us this time around. Make sure we're grabbing stuff with Fenring. We do got the uh, space cruiser wreck over there. That's a, a decent find, a decent pickup for us. What is this? This is also nothing over here. <clears throat> not only have we, uh, not only have we got the haggard start of all haggard starts, but we've got crap land around us. We're gonna have to turn some lemons into lemonade today, boys. All right, all right. So we'll pillage this thing, and then we will come down, and we might as well take that. What's this down? Sandfall's pretty decent. We don't hate an, a close sandfall. That will be useful. What is the plan for a non Uryalan Carino? My god, I do not know. I do not know what the plan is. We're gonna struggle to make the big bucks. We could, I mean, we could still be militarily strong. Really, non Uryalan is gonna hurt economically for the most part. She's gonna hurt tempo, she's gonna hurt economy. But, you know, we could still make the Carino units, so maybe. Maybe hedge is still in the cards, though we can't double build hedge buildings. We're like a we're like a worthless peasant building a single craft shop at a time. Ooh. Should be just thinking about it. Um yeah. Um 
yeah, I don't know. We will just we'll just play it out and see how it goes. No, there is no plan currently. Currently, no plan. Let's prep ourselves a probe setup in case we see any raiders pop out, and we will keep grabbing the good stuff off the map. <clears throat> I'm sort of surprised we haven't seen the center. It's got to be like here or here, because we are pretty centrally located. There's a lot of very vertical yes. regions around us, okay. I suppose. This guy over here about to make some water for us. This new spot needs to make us some knowledge, thanks to the Imperial yes, Observatory. Oh, we got a well of riches, all right. We've got very good special regions. Maybe we just lean into, you know, the early craft workshops and, and go from there. Very good specials. Sandfall's top tier. Well of Riches is top tier. We'll see how close our neighbors are, right? That'll be a sort of a, a determining factor of how, how we go from here. Um, yeah, we're... Oh, it's Sandfall with a Rare Elements. That is decent. And then we got... Minerals up there. We probably want the minerals sooner rather than later. It's minerals and it also pays out per water, but it's only wind strength three, which is suboptimal, but uh, that's all right. Let's grab our admin consolidation. Then I think we're gonna we're gonna go actually for the out we'll go straight up to the outpost logistics for the expansion because we do got some good territory around us that we like. Um, we are we are tad light on the authority at the moment though. Oh, we yes, could do that. Majesty. We'll spend the plascrete for that bonus authority and get the quick annex up here. We like that. All good. We've got a ton of guys out and about on the map doing mappy stuff. We will pop up some parrying arm guards and then probably just some live reformation on those guys. More people on authority. Pretty please. Extra agent recruitment speed. We got a bu we got a, a handful of agent recruitment speed buffs, which is really nice. We like that a lot. That is spice down below us. Okay, I mean actually, you know, the regions look pretty solid. Pretty solid. This is almost definitely ours since there's extra junk up and around it. Yeah, I don't know. The start is growing on me. If only we had Aerialon, we would be like, we would be the clear front runner. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to say to us, Lanzrad? What have you got to say for yourself? Your attention is needed. Um, Imperial Edict. All factions gain hedge. All factions gain. All factions gain. I'm fine with leaving those as is. And then we do want some votes over there. Will I be able to grab a special region? Probably. Or better yet, I already start with Chome Shares. We'll put our votes over here to get some extra plasma from the Chome Shares. Um, oh, I have accidentally set it to Long Lands Timer. Hope oh, not a problem. We are ready. We serve the Imperium. Do do do. I think we walk over and pillage that spot. Hmm. Dope. Doghead's still lagging real bad. I'm sorry, Doghead. Did we get, a, get we did get a guy pop out though, which looks like it's over here. Reporting for duty. <clears throat> okay, what's down here? This guy's paying out <laughs> paying over statecraft buildings. Wouldn't it be nice if we could build more statecraft buildings there? God damn it. Damn you, Aurelion! Um, extra econ building production. I guess you're a wholesale market for now. Make me some money. Figure it out. Chome shares open up in seven days. Yes, Majesty. Oh, that's the worm nest, but it is far away. Ugh, it's not a close spawn. If the village was down here, it would be perfect. But the village being up there makes it probably out of our reach for the short term. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, let us get militia in all of these villages since we're starting to roam a little further afield here. I think we want hmm we want a well of riches, but we 
Let's go look at what passed. <clears throat> Bonus hedge did pass, so we want special regions. 114 to grab a space. Probably, probably Well of Riches is what we want next. Probably the Well. Um, how close are we to main base buildings? We're a little short. Everyone else is getting out ahead of me here. Administrative Hall. 30 Solar production. Alright, we'll just make do. So that looks like Fremen to the east of us. Would you like to trade with me, Vernius? Let's be friends. Accepted by the Baron, who's got to be on the cross side, I think. Well, that's great, because being peace with the Baron gives me plus 15% military power. Huzzah! Thanks, Zoom Goron. I also got to remember that my Imperial mandates are free if none is active, so... That's a cool thing. This guy... Doo -doo. Extra resource production bonus for statecraft buildings. <laughs> Could build a monitoring station to pay out three dollars. Probably not worthwhile. Up here, yeah, this guy pays out a little bit for water, even though his wind strength is crap. We'll still do that. What we want is oh, we need to be keep grabbing our stuff across the map too. What we want is a well of riches. Yes, Although we also want sandfall. A well of riches would be more money. Sandfall would be. Money and intel, money and, and knowledge. I think we're well of riches, well of riching it. Although sandfall's a lot cheaper. Maybe we're sandfalling because only 112 versus 175. That probably makes more sense. Um, this guy. Let's put a red. Let's put a recruitment office in there just because we're gonna need to be recruiting sooner or later. And we've got some fremen on the border. Get the conscripts out and about. Siege Tabers right there, actually. That's a fairly close Fremen spawn to us. <clears throat> Ooh. Got a, should have bought some chome earlier. As soon as it popped, we were slow on the chome buying. Um, are, is there anything we're going to pillage? Probably back to pillaging that while we wait. Chome buying? Yeah, another chome. If we can climb up to 10% early, that would be a nice a nice boon for us. We are listening, Majesty. Reporting for duty. Are you able yes, to pull these Majesty. guys up into the missile base? Just to help out a little bit. We are listening, Majesty. Whew. Well, we'll hope that uh, Doghead's terrible lag keeps him from being too aggressive. <laughs> That's what we're leaning on right now. And we want to go capture Reporting this place. Duty. Pretty please. Alright. Looking okay. Feeling okay. <laughs> this is also a wholesale market since it's paying out a little extra. And we're very concerned about our economic status without Uriulan to help things out. Doot, doot, doot. We want to steal some stuff from over thereabouts. We don't want to pillage this one. We want to annex this one. Oh, another spice down there. Okay. Easy three spice for us. And another special region over there, the Crescent Ridge. That spice is probably pretty aggressive, though. We could really easily drop a base over here. Or even that far up, maybe? We could drop a back base to, to, guard, this, to guard this area, make it very accessible. That might be worthwhile. There's the middle. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of opportunity here. Look how close these spice fields are, right next to each other. Yeah, it's pretty decent land. It's pretty decent land. Huh. Did we ever find... We did not find that siege. Where did that guy come from? I scanned here, didn't I? And he wasn't there? I'm shocked. Where did that guy come from? Let's get an absolute power. We need that up since we did get someone to to treaty us. Then probably advanced engineering and integrative costs. I guess we're already getting absolute power thanks to our friend the Baron. Hmm. Do I do I bother then? I don't bother. I don't bother. We'll get the stuff we don't have. We'll let the Baron give us that tech. Thanks, Baron. Baron. Boom, boom, boom. We are building in our main base. 
What are we building? We're building out... Oh, that's a heck of a spice rate, actually. Let's sell that. We are we're building our main base building. I think I like the idea of a very cautious yes, base drop. There was another spawn right there in the Well of Riches. I saw him. We're going to give you the old probe. It's got to be a siege there, right? It's got to be. We'll prep another one, though, because I suspect. I'm suspicious about more in the neighborhood. Truces with everyone. All factions gain military. All factions gain cheaper building. That's probably pretty good for us. Let's do that. Cheaper building for everybody. And we'll try and toss a truce up for us for everyone. Yeah, let's do that. We'll try and grab the truce. Hopefully the infrastructure control passes. Really, only Vernius is the only one with any votes for anything. Okay, so we got that. Infrastructure did not pass. Opposed by the minor houses. You jerks. And red tech passed, right? Okay. Cancel. Up to the red tech, everybody. Do, do, do. No choice but to red tech. Mm, okay, okay. Boy, I would really love that... Uh, I would really love that fancy worm nest, but it's so far, it's too far away. We got a little, we, need, we could use a little bit more, a little bit more on the shares. I guess that guy will win that fight, so we probably want this army more like pillaging. <coughs> Another rifleman up for sure. I'm still pleased with the f four, um... So pleased with the four uh, thopters at the moment. We could find more or lying around. We gotta up our authority since we're gonna be grabbing goodies. Keep an eye on stuff on the map to take. We'll snag this marauder camp from people. Pillage that. Hmm. Okay, this guy needs stuff down here. This is Sandfall, so we want expensive things in there, so we will opt for some more Plazcrete. We We've paid... No, we haven't paid our tax. We are still reaping the excellent, excellent spice rate. We are ready. You grab that, and then that, and then walk home. I'm pleased there. Majesty. There's definitely a siege over here somewhere, but where? Down hereabouts, we got 10% solar production. Don't mind if we do. That's quite a deal. Our base is building out. We're, we're actually we're doing pretty well economically at the moment. We've got a decent enough spawn to support us here. There's a Fidaken over there for the Fremen, which we, we're not big fans of, but... Um, 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 anything good around the map to steal at the moment? Not really, so we'll steal stuff from over by the Fremen. We serve the Imperium, coordinating the attack. I think we're gonna go down pillage down thereabouts, and let's get our main base cooking too. I think a Chone Branch is reasonable. Three spice at least, maybe four? Probably not four. Psychedilla wants something. He wants money and he'll give me a harmless gadget. Deal. Deal of the century. I accept. <laughs> what what could go wrong? Yes. What could go wrong? Let's pillage here. We'll probably pillage over here as well. Although that's four yes, guys and we're a little beaten up there, so we might back off for now. What are we going to expand to next? Probably a Well of Riches is the next expansion opportunity. Well of Riches or Spicefield? <clears throat> Probably this, a spice, a well of riches pays out 40. I think a spice field might technically be more lucrative than a well of riches. Keep an eye on that. We would love for the shares to get cheaper. There's that other siege up thereabouts. Um, we're going to trade with them just to try to make them friendly. And we are, we are pulling in a lot of agents. That's good. Let's go grab ourselves some more spice. 141 or 162. Looks like 141 is the clear winner. 
and we're gonna opt for a couple incinerators to round out the force and then this guy needs more high upkeep buildings <laughs> thanks to sandfall there let's go get us some spice boys this is a border region maybe we lean into a listening post up here for a little authority and probably more militia these guys are looking good down here. Someone go grab this while you're at it. And then we want to annex spice field number two. So far, so good. We've got Smuggler Hadries over to the west. The Crescent Ridge is probably, probably out of our reach. Does it make sense to drop to the east? A main base over hereabouts that would secure sort of this eastern flank and give the Fremen some anxiety. Those guys are coming up for my northern base. We gotta get up there to defend it. More spice down here. Good, good, good. Do we need what do we need to build? This guy pays out double on statecraft buildings. You know what? By God. Oh, I guess Space and Guild Branch. It makes a lot of sense. Space and Guild Branch, and then we go and we grab our spacing wreck over there for sure. This guy needs to be an Emperor's Monument to double that and get a little bit of passive hedge cooking for us. I think these guys are going to win. We probably don't even need to go up there. Let's go attack this place to pillage it. Let's get in here and grab the exotic compounds for our incinerators. What's the red stuff looking like? It's going, it's going really well, actually. The red stuff is a cooking, thanks to Scientific Congress. Smug's doing special hedge push. Is that true? Does he got passive up? Not really. Doghead's got 10 passive up? Is Doghead craft shopping? Craft shops up for Fremen. Well, we don't love that. Let's get our own craft shops up. We got, we got a lot we want. We're, we're too slow. Okay, we expected that to happen. And we want this to happen. We need a lot more authority than we've got. <laughs> what can we be? What could we be pillaging? Maybe we can go up and pillage the middle because we don't want to take it. And we'll grab that authority there. What's going on with the old Lonsrod? Issuing an edict, imperial edict, imperial edict. Money privileges? Landsrad standing? Hmm. Manpower? There we go. We'll make those. I'm the. F I'm feeling the Fremen can into ch go into Chom right now, or he's feeling Vernius. Everyone's Chomin. <laughs> Bunch of liars. Fremen are early craft workshopping, so we gotta. Early craft shops on Fremen is bad news. Kill Doghead. Hmm. And then we try to vote this for ourselves, maybe? Plus one, says <laughs> Psychedilla. Yes, we killed the dog head. That's very early. Yeah, it was like month two craft shops. Very early. I think we do aggressively drop to the east just to cut off some of his expansion opportunities, maybe? Smugglers got that. That did not pass, but Solari did pass. Okay, so we got money. We'll buy some chome with it. Drive the rates up before other people get to it. Doghead has paused. He destroyed his craft workshop because we were talking crap about him. <laughs> I don't know how I feel now. <laughs> I don't know. That is uh, very bold of him to destroy his craft workshop. Normally you would uh, you would talk about it and you would politic and you would jockey, but you wouldn't destroy it. Interesting. Very interesting, dog head. This guy like, has cheaper building costs. What does that mean? Probably means do collector for now. These guys are just pillaging. 
<laughs> my conscripts are all actually everybody's pretty boss right now. Our power is is through the roof, right? We've got Zoom Garan, 15% power, perfection, and truce. Everybody is truced with me, so all of my units have plus 45% power. Ho ho ho! Absolute power. <laughs> Let's go get ourselves a space rack and we can start cooking on the Kronos. Maybe this guy goes over and grabs an, a spare, a spare thopter. I should be grabbing stuff off the map with my boy too. Let's make sure we're doing that. We'll steal Doghead stuff first because we hate you, Doghead. I am cooking plus 10 thanks to my old Imperial Monument. That's very good, very fun. In fact, that's probably going to be... I'm probably going to research center. All right, all right. It's going good. Might be noisy at home. I apologize for the background noise. It is what it is. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. We got this, which is very good. We are finishing our Imperial Protocols. We could go into Valuable Trinkets, which I think we will do sooner rather than later, actually. Start cooking. Start some light hedge cooking. Not, not heavy. Just lightly. Bonus for military buildings. That sounds like this guy is also a recruitment office option. Oh, we've got the harvester works up. We should be greeting these guys out, actually. Let's, these guys have some crew. Get to work on the safe modes. Very good, for sure. And then we need a third place up at 185. We're making pretty good, pretty good uh, authority right now. I am pleased enough with that. Did we end up taking the doghead thing, or did it just disappear? I don't know. We'll take the thing over there. And we just gotta get this other spice field down here. We're just about near the time where we might want to base drop. Dare we base drop to the far east? I think we do dare. Looks like his guys are up north abouts. I think we drop here and count on that for defense. Let's get a scav team ready. Oh, 185 to take this, but we do want to take it. We might as well just go. We might as well go. Take it and leave a guy there and we'll keep keep moving around after that. Yes, the Imperial base deployment is possible, but we're gonna save that authority for this base in there. Um, 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 what else are we doing? We are just trying to keep an eye on all of our economic needs all around us. We're not gonna donate anything to the guild because we're already getting the, the income favor from having uh, we're already getting the income from having our space wreck, so we're not too concerned about that. We are concerned about maybe doing some pillaging, I think. Leg seems to be gone. Praise is passing. Nice. Nice. Good job, doghead. Good job to stop stopping lagging. Okay, we need 185 to annex that. We've got some tech over thereabouts. We could steal this from up there. We are we are blessed with the Vernius uh, Treaty, giving us l all the economic tech right now. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. We like that a lot. We like it a lot. And this guy here definitely needs to be a spice silo since he's got two adjacent regions. This guy here might also be a spice silo just to put one over there. I don't know. What is this guy going to have? One, if he has one building of each type, I guess you could just be a, a research hub. Yep, because you're Sandfall for sure. That makes sense. And Arasham is the call for sure. You don't want to be running conscripts against the Fremen due to their huge AoE. We are going to buy ourselves up some Chome. Vernius at 12% Chome. The Baron, a notorious Chomer. So we got to keep uh, we got to keep competitive there. Um, look around at what else we can be stealing off the map. Nothing too exciting right now. Send Arasham over to grab that. These guys are going to go pillage down there. And we got a Benny Gesserit. I think Benny Gesserit is on the Spacing Guild to get us up to some orbital strikes. Yes, indeedy. Feeling good. 185. Yeah, you know what? 
if, as long as you get a really great spawn, it's okay to not have Urulan. If we had 3k, we could base drop over here, which is almost certainly what we're going to do. Um, we might just keep pillaging these two places here. Um, yeah, so the base drop really just sort of keeps the backfield in line. Um, what's good over here? Landsred standing, agent recruitment slots, do 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 do. I guess we'll do Landsred standing and embassy would be really good because we are we are making mad money along with Vernius. <clears throat> Show me a siege. Cheaper upkeep for factions. Do dare I cheaper upkeep for everybody? Vernius would want it for sure, and he could beat it me to it. Maybe we just make it cheaper for everybody. Everybody gets money. Proposing an imperial mandate. Oh, I could give an imperial mandate to someone. That's the um, that's the Sardaukar, isn't it? Let's get to business. Imperial made it. Yeah, I could give free Sardaukar out. Vote Fremen for gear regs. Um, oh, the Fremen are pushing northward against the Baron. Hmm, that is interesting. I have not voted Fremen for gear regs. Have the votes come up yet? All factions get this. Gear regs for the Fremen. I'm happy to do that. A little bit there, a little bit there. I do want this to pass. I guess I don't want that to pass as much. I'm happy to put some gear eggs on the Fremen. Sure. We are pulling away with the Landsred standing. That's very nice. We did that did pass. Okay, everything's everything's cheap. We're all good. Let's go grab that stuff there. Yes, Majesty. Yes, Majesty. Doghead is sad. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Doghead's always sad. If you know anything about Doghead, you know that he's sad. Let's get some craft workshops up, shall we? Just one or two. Psychedilla playing the lobby like a fiddle. <laughs> I mean, he just tells us what we already want to hear. <laughs> What's our daily cook look like? Nobody else is cooking daily. Psychedilla is choming. Boom, and we can base drop. This looks like uh, looks like we are not base dropping since the renegades are there. Goddamn renegades. We could base drop further back, but that I feel less good about. <sighs> Let's. Um, we're gonna have to go deal with them, which means it's time to invest in the Sardaukar. Do, do, do. We come down here. This place for sure gets another craft workshop. He's dreamy. Um, this guy. Oh yeah, I do want to take this. Do I have? I guess I'm I'm stifled momentarily on the base drop. So we'll go take that other spice field. That makes good sense to me. <clears throat> this guy still needs yellow stuff to to boost up our harvester. We are making good money. Let's buy some chom. We're not, we're not researching anything. We should definitely be doing that. Uh, let's get our advanced engineering up, then our integrated costs, and then we gotta probably catch up with this Choman stuff so that we don't lose it all when the Baron yanks the rug out from underneath us. The Sardaukar are almost ready. And they will help for uh, dealing with those troublesome rebels to the east. You know what we don't got? We don't have any energy cells anywhere, and we're about to drop a base on the only energy cells around us. Maybe we want, maybe we, we do want to try to prioritize getting the Crescent Ridge, just because it's got some energy cells there. Hmm, okay. Hmm, what's this? This is a free Sardaukar. Deal. Annex that. Oh. I think we're gonna just, we'll just craft workshops and, um, just ride them off into the sunset. Ride the early craft workshops into the sunset and hope for the best. Challenge everybody to come and take them from us. That is the current plan. Um, we will... I guess we'll raise our execute threshold is fine. 
You guys go back home. You got work to do. And harvester. And maybe a couple of militia to keep it safe. This guy over here abouts. Mm. I wouldn't hate more. Yeah. What do you, what's he making? Cheaper buildings? Eh, eh, eh. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. That Carino passive. Plus 30. Yeah, it's more than I expected. 30 is, is, is probably a lot. Why am I making 30? This guy's making 8. This guy's making 8. That's 16. Plus 10? Shouldn't that be 26? Why am I getting... Oh, I built the, uh, the research center, so it's looking like I'm a little higher than I am. But we are all good. We got a pretty chunky army out already, so we are not concerned. What we do need is a supply drop if we're going to make that long walk to the east to deal with that renegade base. Boom, boom, boom. Let's buy some chum. Looking good, feeling good. What's this guy doing up here? I guess nothing really, so we could just have a little craft or a little little workshop there. These guys could start pillaging to the east. Chum there. And we kinda want more data. Although I guess we're getting ten intel from Sonnet Envoys. Hmm. Must be tech that the Baron's given us. Thanks, Baron. The Baron. This guy pays out a little extra plascrete, so we could just throw some plascrete up there. Not that we're having any trouble. Our econ is pretty freaking great, if we're being honest here. We do want to make sure... I guess it is time to be uh, to be stockpiling. Could have been paying more attention to the old stockpiling time, but it's alright. There is a Fremen force, looking mighty chunky. But we have ourselves a, a chunky force. We need Arsham on a hotkey here. <clears throat> okay, are we gonna... Can we... Mm, let's just walk to the east. Supplies is gonna be real tight, actually, but... it is Vernius is over here? Vernius in the middle? Oh my god, Fremen got the deep desert up north. Oh. That Ken- that- not Kenry. That, uh, that dog head. He's making plays. He's making big plays. Let's get supply drop in here and prep another one just in case. Keep our ranged units sort of safe in the back and go. Looking good. We are listening, Pull this guy back a little bit, maybe. Off the sand, off the sand. It's coming in. So far, so good. Burn this base down. And that should be good enough to get us a... No, oh, no, we don't got any fuel cells. We can't get a Kronos. We need a base drop. Smugglers are chasing off Vernius there. Okay, good. Good, keep him honest. And it is... Oh, I guess it's time for the Lance Red. <laughs> it is time for the Lance Red. Let's... Everybody wants to be pillaging, so let's grab the private mandate for ourselves. I think. I think so. Renegade base is dismantled. We have a ton of guild favor. I suppose, you know what? We could... We could do the guild favor trade. We could trade guild favor for fuel cells. That's what we shall do. Yes. Where is that at? Where is my guild base? Request one guild favor into ten fuel cells. That will let us make a Cronus. Marvelous. You love to see it. This guy over here also gets to be an imperial base. Marvelous. Does it make sense to be more forward, maybe? And then we grab the stuff in the back of the Fremen lands? Probably. I like that there. A little, little bit there, and then we give ourselves the mandate. Feels like this moves at a snail's pace. What a face base. It's not a face base. It's not a face base. It's not a face base. It's a normal base. It's a reasonable base.
could have been a face base. That's a face base right there. 10 minute lands red. If it doesn't have to be a 10 minute lands red, you guys just, just click through it and it's not a 10 minute lands red. But look, we are up for all of the council positions. And let's go grab spice field number four over here. Looking good, feeling good. Vernius are running home in in uh, disarray now that uh, the smugglers have come out to play, and we start getting our red stuff up at the other imperial base. Boom! And spice number four. No, we're looking good, feeling good. Who needs Uriulan? She's overrated. <laughs> So Uriland's overrated. You heard it here first, folks. Uriland, totally not a necessary pick. Hmm, I think this guy needs a recruitment office because I anticipate trouble. I'm so, so far from Gov. Is that what you were going? Oh no, Fremen Psychedel was, was, was messing with him. You voted it up. We have chased out the Fremen Harvesters. We have our own militia. We are really good on manpower, so it's time to militia up all across the board here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Get there, there's our manpower done for. We've grabbed this harvester wreck here. Let's get a little extra intel. I am pleased. I am pleased. Now that's a face base. It's not a face base. You guys are, I thought, I don't know what you mean by a face base. It is not a base in your face. Look, your base is way up there and mine's way down here. This is a defensive base. Anyway, Fremen Gov, he says. <laughs> not Fremen Gov. We got 19% on Vernius. I am cooking 30. Fremen are cooking 21. I could cook a little more, couldn't I? No, I'm cooking here and here. And I haven't taken that yet. I still need to. Okay. We could go up and take this one right next to the Fremen. Dare them. <clears throat> Dare them to fight over it. The more land we have, the less land they have. Maybe I do want to take that. I don't know. Never mind, we'll go back and we'll pillage those at least, because pillaging is always good. We are building in the bases. What else do we need to build? We got a lot of plascrete. Let's make sure we're building. This guy probably doesn't need anything, actually. Agent recruitment speed and water. Yeah, he doesn't need anything. Um, tell you what, he could build a spice silo here. We don't need a spice silo here, but we will build one over here. These guys are fighting neutrals, all good. Harvester get to work over here. And we'll put a thopter on him right away into safe mode, and we are feeling Feeling good, feeling great. The chome rate is bad, but if it's ever good, we will be wealthy and powerful. We got ourselves a Cronus. He is pillaged. Doghead's pillaging up there. Not dog. Is it? Yes, Doghead. I keep. I always get Doghead and Kenry mixed up, especially when someone's on Fremen. My brain thinks Kenry. It is Doghead today, not Kenry. Mm-hmm, <laughs> looking good. This guy here. Plus three Solari for statecraft building. I could buff that up even more with the investment office. That's probably worthwhile. Okay, and you guys, since that got pillaged up north, we kind of want that well of riches down there, don't we? Does anyone have any points of interest to steal? Yes, we will steal this one over by them. Go to back to our main base over here and make sure we get more training slots up for sure. We've got rebels coming in here, but uh, the missile Kronos will deal with it. Bim bam boom, crafts are gone. Oh, did we just obfuscate? Valuable trinkets is obfuscated. Okay. 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 So it is. So you. So you have chosen suffering all right that is going to slow the game down a little bit smugs can cook still yeah smugglers get um, I think one for every underworld head headquarters they have 
So we want to still, we want to make sure we're buying up Chome whenever possible here, because that is clearly Vernius's plan. Clearly. Boom, boom, boom. And we are, we are set to make good, take good advantage of it as well. But if they are, they're slow cooking. Yes, yeah, so we are very slow cooking. Every, everything's slow cooking these days. Let's get some guys on counter intel, since we could have some some cells set up on us already. It's conceivable. This guy here needs to be a data center as well, so we can branch out towards our... Um, um, what's the word? Uh, orbital strikes. Branch out towards our orbital strikes. We need 500 to afford an orbital strike, and we don't... I guess we're making 10, which is pretty decent, but not not the 500 that we want. Okay, maybe... Well, you know what we gotta do. We gotta get rid of these craft workshops that are costing us money but not doing anything. Fremen are pillaging only. Interesting. This guy over here is not a craft workshop. Made it a territory game. Okay, so Doghead is starting to annex territory from Vernius because he says the Baron made it a territory kind of territory capture kind of game. That's interesting. Bonus per military buildings. Can uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to put there. Fremen army north Carino. Yeah, he'll get his. He'll get his. I'm not too concerned because Fremen without passive is going to take him forever. And really, I would love for Vernius to die because then I could buy up all their shares. Oh, look, governorship for the Fremen. You love to see it. Extra authority for everybody would probably be good. Yeah, almost will get the extra authority. Fremen, I won't make tax because of that. Oh no. Oh no, Baron. That's the trouble with Vernius is if someone wants to kick you around, they can. I might be, well, no, we're still so light on authority. I was going to say, I might be able to steal some of the territory near Verni, near the Fremen. I'd really like Grek. We'll see what it looks like. Mm, we do got to we do to vote down the governorship at least for now. Maybe if maybe if Vernius gets kicked around too much, we could we could do uh, we could do the old base snipe on him. The old, the old truce base snipe. We're gonna vote for nobody here. Probably with a couple hundred votes. Maybe a little bit over there. So that did not pass. That he did not pass. Nothing passed. Nobody gets. Nobody gets nothing. Two thirty-five to take this. Let's let's go keep doing other stuff. Anybody else? Go walk around. Um, pillage. Capture over no, it looks like the smugglers are getting that capture to the west. I guess we'll go pillage up at the base. Near the base. Alright, we are making some mad spice, but the rate is really bad. It's gonna jump up to slightly better, but not quite good yet. Fusion plant is what we want for sure. Fremen army gone. Good job, Baron. Good, good, good. What's this spot looking back down here abouts? Mm, we're still pretty good on the Plascrete. This guy's cheaper building, so he could be a major building. I don't know that that matters. I think maybe we just stick an airfield down here so we've got some mobility to get to the southern edge in case we need to. 235 there. Okay, yeah, you guys just go pillage, and then what can we steal around the map? I'll try and steal that from the Fremen over thereabouts. This guy over here pays out bonus statecraft buildings, but that's probably nothing good. Hmm. Let's make it a spice silo. Now we're pillaging here. Looking good. Getting stuff over there. Saving up money. If we ever get a good spice rate, we will we will prosper. Which could be never. <laughs> Keep pillaging. Keep the pillage train cooking. Yes, Majesty. Down here, we are not quite able to annex, but soon. 
Hopefully rates are dropping. Hopefully Vernius is spending money. We need territory though. Boy, Hedge is going to be real tough in a game without craft workshops. Um, my phone is beeping at me. Don't worry about that. Chome manipulation is what we want for sure. And then we come back for a crew training program. He's at 17k. Yeah, I agree. He's a villain. I agree he's a villain, but we got lots, lots to do still. I'm not mad, just poor. Okay, we can annex this. I mean, we are gonna make, we're gonna be making mad cash. Fat stacks will be rolling on in. Can we grab this over here from the Fremen next? That would be my, my next to do. We are maxed out on manpower, so we make sure our militia are sauced up. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. This guy over here, he doesn't know what to do. He can, <laughs> the most haggard of water, of the two wind water. This guy here has all of his yellow buildings. He doesn't know what else he wants to do. We just need a gosh darn spice rate that's worth a damn. Okay, we have an amazing spice rate coming up. Almost maxed out next month. The Baron wants to trade with me. He wants a political agreement and a research agreement. I agree, Baron. We should be politically researchedly in line. Strong agree. Let us. We're gonna drop a guy off Chome and put him over on counter intel for sure. I think we got the jump here. Good, good, good. Um, the trouble is we just started annexing something else and now we don't have any <laughs> any authority. Is there any authority in the map we could grab real quick? Is anyone sto stowing away authority? Why haven't you guys searched these edges of the map? There is no authority to grab. We're just standing there for the next 20 minutes is what we're doing. <laughs> Crap. Oh my god, we're making so much money though, boys. We're at 9,000 and the spice rate is 1.9. It's gonna jump to like 4.0 next time. Alright, we got war. We're losing bad. Run, Arsham. Everyone's retreat. Retreat. The foul Fremen declared war upon us. Rally over here. He was pillaging. He just didn't want me to get that. All right, all right. Just for that. I don't know. <laughs> just for that. We're very disappointed in you. Okay, we do need this good yellow stuff, but we need to come back for Imperial Command, actually. Our harvesters need to make sure they're in safe mode. Nobody is, of course. There is the water seller's caravan for us. We got Arsham out, so it's no big deal. We got a rebellion in our lands. That is a rebellion from the Fremen to ca cause me some grief. Interesting. We'll keep an eye on these Fremen aggressors. This front line here definitely needs its own airfield up. You guys go clear these rebellions out. Boom, boom, boom. We'll switch over to our airfield filter to make sure we can see where we could fly to. What's this guy over here? Is probably a recruitment office. And we are still buying Chome. Probably, did we lose, a, we lost one of our incinerators. So just more Sardaukar, I think, is the, the name of the game. Move our rally point back to the base. 
Hmm. We don't really want that. Oh, the elected faction gains money. We want that to just be us, I think. We'll try to get we'll try to win Imperial Missionaries. Carino just kinda running away with it, not gonna lie. Running nowhere fast. <laughs> we are actually making crazy cash. Once, once that next thing ticks over, we're going to be in a great, great shape. That 2.4 rate instead of a 1.9. Uh, sorry, I need to make my phone quiet because it's really annoying. Sorry for the beeping. Let's, um, let's add in an artillery drone. Maybe two artillery drones is the way to do it. Two artillery drones, I think, feels pretty good. He wants his spice back, so he doesn't care about Carino. See? That's the beauty of it, right? Let's also go with the heavy loads. Hmm. If I was going to annex next, probably... Oh, didn't we have a really great siege alliance over here? Yes, we do. So this guy can be... From our lands red. Yeah. Boom. 10% more solar production. We should have paid attention to that earlier. That's great. We need scav team up. We need more chum. So someone was buying. Who else was that buying? Fremen at 10%. Fremen at 10%. Okay. We do have the Kronos up, if needs be. Boy, I don't know what the end game is, though. <laughs> I don't know what the end game plan is. We will, we will, we will move the monument over to the other imperial base in a little bit here. I don't. We're at pretty good hedge, seventeen, but that's with our research base already built out. So it's not like we have any sort of boom in us. We don't really have any sort of passive possible either, which will really slow things down. Um, okay, that's three. Siege tanks need to be on fours. And then it is G is the hotkey for siege tanks. All right. Good, good, good. Can we take these bases real soon? Let's go get them. What else can we steal from around the map? Anybody got anything good? Looks like... Vernius still jousting with the Fremen up north. That's interesting. We are still pillaging down south here. I think we're just going to keep keep on. Oh, we got to change this. Just cancel that out because we got minus 50% to the military, so we don't want to do that. Huh, could we assassinate someone? We're not really making any data at all, so we could not assassinate someone. We can easily fly down there. I'm pretty pleased I built that uh, southern airfield, actually. It's pretty useful. This will be up in seven days, and we do want to annex that. We'll steal more stuff from over thereabouts. Don't have our armory stuff up yet, really. Okay, um, let's make sure our buildings are maxed out. We got the Well of Riches finally got capped over here. Very good. Get that money. Mo money, mo riches. We almost are about to tick over to the golden, the golden time of money. We got Fremen marching in to pillage are the lands that I pillage. You can't pillage that. That's my for pillaging. Yeah, we're just going to keep buying up Chome, I think, and we'll just turn into that end game powerhouse, maybe, is the hope, the prayer. Maybe we need our own airfield down here, just in case the smugglers get to come that away. ways That is an annex over there. Let's go fight. Let's go fight them. Make sure our ranged guys are a little further back. 
This guy needs to not be an Imperial base, but then yes, be an Imperial base. And then over here, what do you want? Maybe you are a Mason Guild for extra money? Did he just fly away? This guy we will liberate. And we are going to focus on spreading out a bit to make sure that we don't uh, all stand in the midst of a big Fremen Alpha Strike. In fact, we'll go ahead and we'll scan this region just to keep an eye on things. Yep, here it's coming. Boom, boom. Arasham, execute them. It's looking pretty good, actually. We're dropping some bombs on those guys. More Sardaukar out. Rally point up here. Make sure the Sardaukar are getting those good executes off. Arsham, get away. Oh, we had tr troops back there that weren't fighting. That's no good. Arsham, run. Run, Arsham. They got him. Let's get him back up. We will be missiling him. Keep a missile from an army down. We're here to clean up the mess. On the offensive. So is Carino. It's true. Technically correct. Um, oh, I did not even see. We apparently have a whole smuggler army in my backfield there. You hate to see it. You guys need to back off and get some more supplies. We need another artillery drone up. Probably a handful of conscripts. You guys still need to be down here getting your supplies back, please. Pretty please. Fremen got Militia Health Siege. You hate to see it. Oh my god, we're running out of, we're running out of water, actually. That's no good. I did not expect that to happen. Our water's at eight. Yikes. We'll give this to every faction, just so it's not me. I really don't. It, we've gonna have an. We've had an incredible rate for chome selling right now. I really don't want to get the controlled markets on me, but it probably will be. Ugh. I hate it. I can't believe we're running out of water there, though. Let's, um, I guess we'll prep some supplies. That is not good to lose that backfield there. Not good at all. We did get the crew training program up. We need the Imperial Command. Then probably over to... Hmm. Over to what? We're sort of already benefiting from a friendly Baron. Civilian Defense Force and then Border Defenses, maybe? Gosh, I don't know. Maybe siege incentive so we could base snipe someone? I don't know. What's going on in here? House Vernius paying out. So we will put that everything on House Vernius. We will take some money. We will I guess not do a whole lot of auto buying. Oh man, I hate that. What are those smugglers doing down there? Is that a spice field they took from me? I hate it. We hate it, precious. Still got trouble coming in. Yeah, we'll back off. Back off. We still got trouble coming in. We will keep him... Keep him busy. 
so we rebuild our armies here. We gotta keep an eye on those Fremen down there, causing causing a ruckus. Not those Fremen. Worse than Fremen, smugglers. Sardaukar need to come up. Another incinerator. Um, maybe one more rifleman. Two more riflemen and then one more Sardaukar, I think is the comp we want. We've got smugglers coming in the backfield though. All right, everyone head south. Ooh, the trouble is this is right on the border. We'll just drop some missiles on him, F it. If he's smart, he'll back away, which he is. Okay. Yeah, see, he's right on the border, so we can just walk out of it very easily, unfortunately. This forward region needs a friendly missile turret on its border. Hmm. <laughs> we need ourselves a crap load more of intel. But we can't really get it anywhere. Fremen North. I would love to fight some Fremen, but I'm fighting smugglers now. Buy some more chome. Almost up to 30%. That'll be nice for us. Our good friends, the Vernius, are keeping us well supplied with, with resources. Boom, boom. Our military is maximized. I think we're going to go march into the smugglers. I think that is the plan. Let's get, yeah, we're we'll definitely research intel every chance we get. Can we steal intel from anyone else around the map? That's a siege back there. Yeah, nothing exciting. We wait for Arsham to get up and then we go and push in there. Still north, and he's got double missiles, it says. Um, 19k in the Fremen. We got 7k. What happened over here? Vernius got that on them. Yes, that's right. So we are still, we are still making our fat stacks. Rally point down here. We we'll move down here and prep for, prep for battle. This guy, I think, needs to be a military base. This guy needs to be researched here. Mm, I think we could take this Fremen army. Or not this Fremen army. You know the one. I think we could take this smuggler army. Let's go march. Wait, we're getting thumpered. Let's chill out. Let's chill out. <laughs> we are happy to just let that go ahead and uh, exhaust itself. Go ahead and thumper away there. We will play cool. Um, make sure our buildings all look good over here. Could be something. I guess we could be in military trouble over here. And... And what? We wait for the Stumper to come out and then we go get him. That's what we got. And we steal some stuff from around the map. Siege incentives, yeah. We'd rather have more friends than less friends, but our only friend is Vernius right now. Okay, now let's go. Everybody go, Arsham. He's leaving. <laughs> Cowards running away. Everyone burn down these militia, please. He is poisoning the reserves. Okay, we just countered that with the supplies. We annex this back, and we wreck this airfield here for now. Carino's in the south, says Hadrius. Taking back my land. Buying more chom. Is that 29? Not quite 30. Yeah, we're okay down here, we're okay. We don't want to destroy too much, because we are... Taking that back, we just gotta keep an eye out for any Fremen trouble up northwards. Keep moving, keep moving. You guys get on the rocks at least, and then you deploy. Okay, okay. 
Oh, I keep forgetting, forgetting to build out over here. Water, I think, has been a big problem for us. Let's get that. We are good there. Yeah, water's still a big problem. Fremen on the front lines causing trouble. Okay. We finished this annex and then we could fly back up. We are not quite ready for... For our military intervention. Send the Sardaukar over here to fight, I think. I don't think we have smugglers in our land anymore. I don't really want a diplomatic congress. Hmm. This could apply to all factions. Interesting. Hmm. We want to truce out the Fremen, actually. Force them to take a betrayal. I guess that's not a big deal for the Fremen. Hmm. Agents would be good. We would like some agents. People are thinking. Debates are in progress. We're not quite there with missiles yet. Click your buttons. Pretty please, everybody. Mm, this guy needs to be something over here. I don't even know what. It could just be a monitoring station. It'll pay us out having the bill. Oh, <laughs> having the village fully built out. <laughs> we got smuggler bounty on House Carino. Damn, I'm tempted to vote for it. <laughs> Let's do it. Other people are gonna vote for it. I might as well. I might as well. Smuggler bounty on me. I voted for myself. The, I, the most votes were for me. Uh, uh. How can I help? Oh, and I just got truced out of taking that back. That's BS. Who got the truce? I got it with 33 votes from the minor houses. I guess that stops the Fremen from taking my land. That's something. An annoying something, but it is what it is. And we are back up here. I think we're taking <laughs> Wonders of the Desert. Then over there. And head back north. We've got a, a brief reprieve, I suppose. We'll buy some, buy some chom. Keep on choming. I guess the next guy that breaks his truce with me is gonna get it. Oh, we got lab thopter. Let's keep, the, let's get the lab thopter flying around, shall we? Where did he come from? Boom, boom, boom. Looks like he's been here a while, and I just didn't notice. I'm very busy. There's a lot going on. There's lots, lots to do. Lots to fight. Where are all of these special Received. regions? I think that's probably most of them there. We'll see how that goes. We could annex this guy for 400. Now let's go over and beat up. We'll go over and beat up this uh, renegade base while we're waiting. We only have three water. Why is our water so low? What would I dump for water? We kind of still want the admin hall. I guess we're already making water over here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's wreck this renegade base. People are at peace with me. I am sitting at a comfortable 31%. So yeah. I think my tentative plan is maybe someday we could save up a lot of money and then base snipe Vernius and then buy up all their shares. <laughs> that would be that would be a viable chome victory. That would be viable. That would be viable and fun. We are yeah, we're still stockpiling. We are sort of comfortably stockpiling to the max at all times. 
We are sad to have lost that spice field over there, though. We would like that back. It probably will never come back, but we would still like it back. What does this look? I think maybe a military base in case we need to defend over here. That makes sense to me. Fremen on a hedge. There's my knowledge. Okay. Yeah, it's like crazy. What do we get for this? I think we'll take Wonders of the Desert and then over there maybe civilian defense force? There could be assassins going around, right? There's some Fremen on the border. Let's get everybody back here. We don't like the Fremen. We'd like to fight the Fremen. We'd like to fight the smugglers even more, though. It's tricky. There's a lot of people we'd like to fight. Not enough sales shares on sale. People are buying. We'll turn on the auto buy, I guess, for now. Let's go keep an eye on these Fremen. Maybe we could jump on them. We need some water back. Why is our water so bad? He is using stuff in my back region to make me grumpy. It's alright, we will go deal with them. Make sure we've got the water everywhere we can get it. Boy, I really hate games with craft workshops obfuscated. It's really just the worst. Why did you guys not fly down earlier? <laughs> this is weird. Hmm, I think... I think we still want to fight smugglers. He's got a worm coming to get him. He's worming himself away. Okay, maybe we head back down. Maybe we head back down. Vernius right here in the middle. They're just dealing with the usual stuff. This guy over here abouts. I don't know. He could just have a missile battery, I suppose. Fremen fighting me, he says. I mean, the trouble is, this is not nothing I care about. I care way more about that spice field down there. Mm, we need a supply drop ready. Data centers. Wish we had more data centers. Let's go over here. This guy could stop being a wholesale market and start being a data center for sure. Someone can walk down and grab the intel there. Anything around the map to, that we could soak up with Hasimir? Yep, we can grab some over there. We'll prep our missiles and then we will go take that back from the smugglers, I think, is the plan. The short term plan, the long term plan, all the plan I've got. Someday in the distant future, maybe we can bait, we could try to snipe Vernius. <laughs> we are making a spare 300 hegemony a month above and beyond everyone else but uh, okay we're gonna lose the architectural survey so our main bases are no longer in danger loss of rights would be good it would kick Vernius out of a bunch of stuff all factions lose authority production. Yeah, we don't care. I'm gonna go quiet for a second here while I try to take some bites of dinner.
Okay, what do we got? We got <laughs> we did get a loss of rights pass thanks to the smugglers and the Fremen, and nothing for governorship. And minus authority for everybody. And more chum shares for sale. Okay, let's shuttle down. Wait, no, we don't want to. I want you to not be deployed. And then we can use their airfields, funny enough. Let's shuttle down here. Prepare to go to war with the smuggles. We don't have quite enough for our, our blaster, but. Let's get to business. Make sure supply drop is in here so we don't suffer from that uh, poison reserves. Because poison reserves only affects you if you're losing supply. And we've got a flagship coming in, so we've got trouble for sure. We've got the Fremen dropping junk on us, and they're flying in. Okay. The time is now. Let's drop the money, and we fight. Blast away, boys. Try to get some, some focus on the snipers in the back, if at all possible. You guys are shooting, aren't you? They were not shooting the whole time. That sucks. That sucks. We don't get eaten. Hang back. Let him retreat in good measure. Hang back. See? Hold love the line. We don't have smuggler aggression on us, so that's the good news. Chum shares are cheap, cheaper, so we will buy. Um, that was good. That was good. We lost relatively little. Like one incinerator, one Sardaukar. And we did get aggression from the, the Fremen over there. That's fine, though. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, all good, all good. Can we build? Why can't I build? We don't have water. What do you mean I don't have water? Should have dropped that earlier, but there's some missiles for you. Get out of here. You guys, please all leave combat. You get deployed over there. Fly up north. Everybody, even you guys, fly up north. Yep, all good. He's got to leave. He can't stand in the missiles. We have taken this, but it's the storm over overhead. Okay. Where our water is tight, is really tight. We might need to dump something. Maybe we dump the Mason's Guild, which will hurt our money a little bit, but we need the recycling vats because we can't really project our power anywhere. <laughs> There's a crawler over here. Get to work, crawler. And airfield, pretty please. We are stockpiling. The rates, uh, will, the rates will be good next round. So we do want the full stockpile. Why is my spicing come so bad right now? Do I have a lot of harvesters not working? Maybe so. What do you need, my emperor? Um, I think we want a scav team ready. We're so poor. Listening. Why are we so poor suddenly? Imperial base buildings, I don't know. Is it just the, because my economy is getting shut down by the storm going overhead maybe. This guy over here, what are you doing? Resources, statecraft buildings, boop boop boop. Nothing good in there really, I don't care. I don't care. There's men stuck behind, funny enough. We've got all the tech we could ever want. A lot of percentages out and about. Boy, it would be it would be good to kill Vernius. And if Arisham died, how did Arisham die? Did he get killed by snipers? Maybe. I didn't even see it happen. No, that's just an old. He's alive. <laughs> I'm like, I thought he was fine. He's alive. He just got uh, 
Just got a little, a little spooked there. I think we annex up here. We got the spare authority, we might as well grab it. So we will dump the research center so it doesn't look quite so intimidating. And then, in resp oh, we gotta wait for that to be done. It does cut back a little bit on our daily, but that, I mean, that extra two a day was not gonna, not gonna convince anybody of anything, and not being in the lead might actually be helpful. This guy, I think, is a second missile turret in here, probably. Boom, boom, boom. This guy up here is definitely a military base. Followed by a whole buttload of militia. Everyone backs off there. Okay, all good, all good. We do want to make sure we got militia maxed out everywhere we could put them. Boom, boom, boom. What's this guy building? Probably nothing. I think I keep deciding that this guy doesn't really have anything good to build. And then this guy needed more blue stuff. Um, likely a Landsred quarters. I don't think I'm. I don't think I can. I've got the the data to assassinate anybody. Still, we could put a little more extra data up there. About what are we doing? I think we're still. God, I think we're still buying Chome. I think we're trying to save money up to maybe kill Vernius eventually. Someone's getting assassinated. Hmm. It's so tough. Baron saying who's getting killed, that certainly means that the Baron is the one killing someone. Carino, please. Wait, no. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's gonna be tough. This game's gonna take forever. Hmm. I'm starving, so I'm munching on hamburger and french fries on the side here. Water cellars. Could be me, but I'm only. I guess I'm making some. Oh, but we got a bounty for the smugglers to have that deal. Deal smugglers. You can have it. I'm gonna buy some chum with that that fat fat cash there. Hmm. Maybe we'll auto buy. We'll buy the second chum as well. We've spent all of our money. We're poor again. Oh god, what does this end game look like? Oh my god, I hate obfuscated crafts. That's the worst thing in the game. Vernius is retaken mid. Someone's getting assassinated. Probably me. Notably, Vernius did not research this tech. Maybe I'll... Dare I... F I guess I'm already doing that. I'll finish that up and then go over there. Ugh, it's such a, such a stalemate. It's the trouble with um, it's the trouble with really good players is everybody just kind of like stands in this Mexican standoff until the the spice tax alone pushes us all towards uh towards an end game here. Apologizes for the noises in the house. Could be all kinds of banging and shouting and screaming in the background. It is what it is. It's a tournament game. We don't get to pick the times. We gotta we gotta just roll with the punches. What we would really like is more... Oh, I guess we could sell search now, because that thing did pass, right? Yeah. They got that, and they got that. Okay. Yeah. So we might as well just be cell searching, make sure we're not getting assassinated. And what do we keep grabbing from... Vernius is grabbing stuff up there. What is the smugglers doing? Just putting more... Just putting more underworld headquarters around the map. 10k to buy shares. That's interesting. Boy, it still would be nice if Vernius died, because then we could take all their shares. That's what I just keep thinking about. Boy, it would be nice if Vernius was dead. Even though they're my only friend in the world. <laughs> they're my only friend, and I wish they were dead. This guy does not need a Plascrete factory here. He needs a data center, for sure. Meanwhile, this guy needs a data center, for sure. This guy's already got one up thereabouts. 
We need as much data as we can get our greedy little paws on. Maybe we can annex that up there. It's 209. We can annex it eventually. We didn't find any forward cells with our cell search. That's good. That probably means we are not the ones being murdered, interestingly enough. I would have I would have figured that it was us for sure. How are our harvesters doing? Please be on safe mode so you don't die. We do need these thopters flying around and, and finding good stuff. We're gonna stop pillaging so that we can start back capping things, I think, is the plan. Here, we stole some data over there. Let's prep prep the missiles. Um Yeah. We'll steal some data over there. I think that's the next annex on that side. Boy, yeah, it's it's just a slow game. It's just a slow without the craft workshops and with, unfortunately, with good players in the lobby, it is a very slow burn here. There's nothing we. I mean, I would be happy to Helms Deep it and and sit on. Uh, it's pretty decent, 3.0. I would be happy to Helms Deep it and sit on. Um, you know, craft workshops, but ain't in the cards. So we're sitting on a lot of cash. We got the cash going for us. This is this is do dropping fast. We'll see if that bottoms out. Maybe we could buy a few more shares. But I think we're gonna need to just get to a point where we sit on a huge stockpile of money, um, and then just tr maybe try maybe see if Vernius gets killed in the field, and then try and base snipe him. If we get another architectural surveys up and we could get on them, we could probably fly over and base snipe them. You just had to obfuscate. Now we sit here all day long. Oh yeah, yeah, I got things. I got places to go today. I don't even want to win. I don't even want to win because I got prior engagements and I don't know if I can handle a second game after this. Oh boy. Okay, let's see, there, 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 what do we steal, what do we steal, probably this one. I planned to chome, but Fremen stole my stuff. Yeah, I know. I know, man. I'll buy some chome. Okay, what is up over here about? Probably more missiles. We, we, I think we could likely take that from the Fremen there. We've got a lot, we'll have a lot of nearby missiles. Might be even easier than taking that one over there, really. The you, we gotta keep an eye on those troublesome smugglers. We're at 22.6, but we're so... F I mean, we could kind of pull out like a thousand from a research center, but no more. So there's not really a boom option for us. There's a couple cheaper things in the back. At least these will be cheap when the pillages fall off, but it's still a long journey. I do want to cancel some treaties. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna cancel this because I need the intel. Um, I'm gonna cancel the political agreement as well. Just want a little more authority production. Still minus two for active treaties. Is it minus two? It should be ten. I guess ten percent shouldn't be minus two, but it is what it is, I suppose. Wouldn't hate taking that for a little chunkier militia. That would be good for us, for sure. Let's search in the back there. Also nothing from the old uh, the old eyeball. We're not going to get another one off. Let's cancel that. And instead... Instead, what? Smugs sitting on five regions? Yeah, I know. I know. Do we prep defense breaches? It's probably too soon for that. Maybe a supply drop in case we're going to fight out of our territory in the short term here. Probably not even time to go fight out of our territory. Let's make sure we're still destroying Plascrete factories because we surely don't need any Plascrete. Um, this guy there, yeah, he's fine. I think that's a military base down here, actually. Game paused by Doghead. Now what, Doghead? We got Vernius fighting, maybe? What's going on? What are you crazy guys doing? Holy lag spike. Well, we got, an, we got ourselves another lands rad to deal with. 
Chome Shea is more expensive. We don't care. We need the Carino 3v1. I don't see them not winning otherwise. I mean, I can def win it in seven more spice tax. I can def win it in seven more spice taxes. Yep. Whew. Yeah, oh boy, I don't know. It does make sense to come fight me, but it's like... I would just have to defend <laughs> for seven months or something, right? I don't have any fast win condition. Hmm. We'll support that, I guess. We'll just let Vernius take all the all the speakers just because we want the money from that smuggler bounty. Hmm. What do? What do, boys? I think I'm going to take another bite of a hamburger while we figure out what's going on here. Hmm. Doghead. I just triggered my militia a second ago. Is Doghead lagging and disconnecting, maybe? He's thinking, he says. Oh boy. Is Vernius there? We got the sales incentive there, so we can't buy any chome, but we're super rich. So we got that going for us, at least. AFK second here. Alright, I'm back. The game is continuing. There is little... There's little going on. Whew. What do you need, my emperor? There's the right, smugglers over the there. I don't want them to ta take that. We could fight for that. Because I kind of want to take it. Somehow, somewhere. Let's get some good stuff up here, which we should have done like a hundred years ago. Go fight the smugglers here. He wants to fight, so he's committing in. We've got Fremen here as well. I'm communication jammed. That's bad. That's bad. A comm jam means I am not likely to get off the missiles that I want here. Run away! Arisham, run! Run, Ari! Get home! Sardaukar out. Everybody rally up there. Yep. Yeah, we did not anticipate the Fremen right on top of me here, but we will drop some missiles on them in our base. Then prep the next missile strike. We should have dropped the missiles up there. It would have been the better choice. Whew. We are incredibly rich, but we can't really buy anything with them. 
So we wait. They are running out of water though. They better thump her real quick because you guys are all dying. You're all dying. We could turn on this. Maybe he won't pay attention. Okay, he runs away there. What is, okay, he is annexing over there. We are rebuilding our troops. I don't. We're not going to get there fast enough to take that back. This should be fine. We got missile turrets down there. <sighs> Everybody's already hitting me. What do you mean, good time to hit core? I just fought. I just fought you all. Let's get Arm Sham back on the field. A couple of incinerators. Oh, A2 Vernius. I mean, what can I do? We gotta just Helms Deep it and save up cash, really. Maybe somehow we could hope for a chomed victory still. Maybe if we're weak but incredibly rich, we could try to fly up to his main base at some point in the future, but it's like, what can I do? What can I do in the meantime? All I can do is sit back and try and defend. We do need our border defense up now since Psychedilla is no longer our friend. Our rates are bad, everything's bad. We will come over, however, and mess with some Fremen, though. Ah, uh, that was it was too soon to drop the missiles. Too soon to drop the missiles for sure. We will just lose these front fields. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Orbital was forced out. It's true, it was. Good, I got things to do. Come kill me, everybody. If you're man enough. I don't think you are. We'll prep scab teams. <laughs> we'll buy these raiders here. Prep crashed the ornithopter. We can still defend ourselves a fair bit here. They hit us with the uh, admin burden, but we are plenty okay, actually. We got a thumper on us here, but that's fine. You guys just put the siege tanks in and be ready to fight. <sighs> yeah, nothing to do but uh, hold the line. Amidst all this hatred and aggression, we got Fremen in the backfield. Let's uh, fly back there to help. The Kronos is at your disposal. We're at your service. On it, we ain't paid enough. Get back there and fight. We the car. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that first blast from the sea drones was really good. We don't have arm sham, but we're fine. It's going pretty well, actually. The speaker is now choosing the agenda. Let's make sure we're going to lose all of our Sarda cars, so we want to be rebuilding them as quickly as possible. Hmm. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to lose chomp shares. We can make everybody lose chomp shares, I guess. All factions gain that. Yep. Oh well, there goes our there goes our dream for chom. Left Carino. What do you mean left? Car oh, he put the leftmost thing on Carino. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Smuggler's bounty on support. I guess we support that. We can't really be the judge of the council, though we'd kind of like to be. It would let us rebuild our army with a strong defensive force. Let's try for the judge of the council. We put leaves a lot of money on the table, but it is what it is. I imagine folks will vote for that. Maybe I can grab judge of the council and we could just start turning some of our influence into defensive units. Okay. Flamethrower down these boys. 
<laughs> These incinerators are so freaking good, man. Ready. On the move. We'll attack. Received. On duty. Ready for instruction. On duty. Focusing on target. So freaking good. I think we've we've stifled the Fremen, but we still have a lot of trouble in the front lines here. That guy just got eaten. <laughs> Yep, I think Chani ran away, but otherwise we think we're we're pretty okay here. Boom, boom, boom. We're rebuilding back at the base. We've got money. We do want to buy. I guess we can't. No one can buy for a month. Okay, you guys shuttle down there. Clear up that spice field. Doghead is spamming the awaken the people all over me. That's getting pillaged in the east, <laughs> of course. Listening. Ready for instruction. We'll attack. We'll secure you guys victory. focus, you should be okay there. We you guys are fighting here, right? You should be okay there. One, two. Let's get some judges. A judge or two. Let's get some more artillery drones back up. Artillery drones will be key in this these defensive efforts. All right, that got sieged down. We just need to re-militia them up. This, we are winning. This is all good. We get back to our front lines. That got defended, actually. Nice. I think they got aggro from the neighboring missile turret to keep them safe. That's good. Fremen. Gonna be trouble. Yeah, I think the plan is still... Try to get some of our try to get some of our spice back online, and then, uh, and then what? And then what? Try to get some of our spice back online, and then uh, we can. Um, I don't know. Spice back online, and then we can try to buy our way to a chome victory if everyone's busy, and maybe if Vernius also dies. That's getting just taken over there. We don't really have any choice about that. Let's. Annex next to our base, at least, so we don't cap out. Hmm. Just gotta go grab that stuff. Our Sham's back up. Yeah, the force. We're back to a pretty potent force here. Um, maybe grab, put a good, put another judge in the in the force. It's looking like we have a very strong. Fremen option here is gonna be tricky. Gonna be tricky to deal with the Fremen for sure. Whew. Yep, all we can do is, you know, hold the line at this point in time. Um, is there anything else we would want to build or change around? Not particularly. You guys can still fly down and help there. That's not making any difference. Buff our militia up. Extra pillaging, extra resources. Is this a j yeah, this is adjacent to someone, so it's a data center for sure. Vernius did take that. We need more missiles coming up soon enough. Yeah, all we can do is all we can do is hold the line, maybe annex some of these eastern things while we wait. What else can we grab? Sieges, <laughs> economic tech. Border defenses is almost back online for us. That'll be good. And then I think we do I go yeah Emperor's eyes would be good it would free up a couple of agents for us and make us safer hmm <laughs> Vernius wants to trade with me I yes non-aggression pact I accept and I am happy to take the gadget as well is that an extra gadget it's a second gadget you can you can cheese it and get multiple gadgets who knew who knew actually you know what that gadget is going on the Fremen to make me a bunch of it makes eight intel. Wow, that's wild. That's wild. That's so much intel. <laughs> Carino still got the slowest smuggler boom of all time. Prepared auto buy. And smug's got most passive hedge. No one will ever win. This is purgatory. We are in month 10. No one has cleared any sort of win condition. This thing we could take back in 12 days. 
We should go clear out that renegade base to the east, if at all possible. Oh lord, oh lordy lord. Extra manpower for Plaskrete? Sure. This is, that's intel there. It's always good to have a source of intel, but let's save up because we're gonna want something. We need to do something about smugs. Are smugs booming now? 25k, they might be. They might be, yes, indeed. Let's get some of that stuff. Scav team them there for sure. Plus 18 in a lot of free regions. They're villains. It's true, Hadrius is a famous villain. We do gotta watch out that... So the Fremen don't really have anything left to take, necessarily. Um, unless they take stuff off other people. But we do gotta watch out that the Fremen don't get any free booms. Can, can we do a quick bio? Why don't you just go bio on Landsrad? <laughs> No, resume. Just go buy on the Landsrad. Landsrad's in one day. Just go buy on the Landsrad. Yes, the Landsrad is long. Let the rest of us at least think. This thing is buck seventy-eight to take. We might as well take that while we're there. The Speaker of the Council is choosing an agenda. Vernius is the Speaker of the Council, but he might be on a bio break. Good God, good God, guys, we will be here forever. Hmm. Pod 2, continuing long into the foreseeable future. No winner close. Turin is like trying to get on with his, his tournament here and we're like, nobody's winning this, sorry. Speaker of the council is shooting an agenda. I'm gonna keep eating my hamburger here while everyone else goes pee. Hmm. Five, I'm, I'm talking to Discord. Five or six more spice taxes and it'll be decided. Could I also stream in Discord so people could watch? Maybe, maybe I could jump in. That might be noisy, I don't know. I'll pop in a live stream and then I will turn off my microphone. No, I'll deafen myself so I can't hear anything. And I'll leave my microphone on so I can talk in here and hopefully not hear anything from Discord. Just to reach the maximum amount of viewers. My family's going crazy upstairs. I'm trying to eat food. This game will never end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who wants to make me the governor? <laughs> I put up a screen. In this. I think I'm live streaming, aren't I? No, here's my live stream. Let's make sure that's going. All right, so I'm I'm recording. I'm live streaming. The game is continuing forever. Nothing will ever end. Ugh. We've got a loss of rights with a bounty on it. That's nice, at least. Do we care about who? Uh, I think we just want the loss of rights to pass. Support. Yeah, we'll vote for the support. See what happens. We are friends with Vernius, so our only possible win condition still is maybe, maybe f like flying over to betray Psychedilla and then uh, maybe if we can betray him and base snipe him, he'll lose all of his shares and then we could buy up his shares. Governorship is going to bounce around. Nobody's strong enough to beat the rest of the of the um, of the council. 
Psychedilla's got it. But loss of rights passes, so he loses Speaker of the Council in the process. And the game continues on. Um, we're going to annex over here. We're going to keep a close eye on Doghead. 25k in the Fremen and the Smugglers. Oh my god, i got to turn off the beeps from a million people joining in Discord. Notifications. Turn off all of my beeping in Discord, please. User joining and leaving. Yeah, you guys are beeping too many times. Dave X volleyball team is in shambles. It's true. <laughs> All right, uh, 28 days on the governorship. Don't forget to click auto buy. I'll click auto buy. Sure. Don't buy my shares, guys. Those are mine. Those are my shares. I think we want to go take some land from the smugglers in the south. We could take that back from Vernius, but we don't even care. Hmm. I think we, we're sitting at 24 on the hedge. We do have a research center in our back pocket, but it only pays out about 1,000 because we don't have a ton of territory. Oh, yeah, 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 guys. It is really haggard, let me tell you. I guess we're listening post up here. And we think about... We think about people, we think about sniping the smugglers in the back. Oh, we could, there's a few extra plus authorities in our backfield. Could we steal anything from other people? Nothing good. Reveal siege. We can steal some tech. We've got, uh, those guys are going to get wrecked when they come in. So if you're just joining us, they everyone pushed in on me a little while ago and took my front regions, but we, we helms deeped and held them. And now, wait, the smugglers just went down. Did someone take something from the smugglers? Oh, they deleted their research center. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We're going to send the Kronos over there. We would still like to take that, although it's going to make everyone mad at us again. The chum rate is awful. But we are absurdly rich, is still. I guess we're buying. I guess we're buying. Sorry about all the beeps if you guys are catching those. It is what it is. People need to see what's going on. Hmm. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna jump on Hadri's to try and take his special region. We could steal these ruins from the middle for sure. A little extra, a little extra. Authority, looking good. What's this guy? This guy could be something. What's that? A rebellion right on top of my army. <laughs> Suck it, dog head. This guy needs to be probably missile turret. Yes, we did finish our... Did we finish? We did finish our border defenses. We're working up towards the Emperor's eyes, just in case. This guy needs to let everyone come and fight. Let's go... Let's go fight. Everyone, please fly. We've got missiles prepped. He is already flying in. We'll just drop missiles on him right away. Eat some missiles. And a scab team, for good measure. Oh, this is going to be bloody. This is going to be bloody. He's getting wrecked, sons. Why, why don't we have more missiles ready? What happened to our Benny Gesserit? She got captured? Ay, ay, ay. Into the Space and Guild. Okay, try not to get hit by missiles too much, everybody. <laughs> what did we lose? What did we lose? Probably just one Sardaukar. What's going on out in the world? Mm -hmm. Vernius is sitting on territory. If we could grab this, we'd be good. We do need supplies up here. We're getting we're getting missiled down pretty badly. Let's make try not to stand mm -hmm. on the bases to get hit by missiles, everybody. Nuke Crescent Ridge now. <laughs> that is a good point. Where are where's the nuke silos? We don't got the fuel cells for it. We've got no fuel cells. We can get fuel cells if we take this from them. Okay, the missiles have stopped. Kronos can move up. Make your own goddamn nuke. Everybody's incredibly poor. Auto buy is on, but there's nothing to buy. Okay, this guy, we will make sure we set our rally point up here. We need our supplies. There's the missiles. Let's prep the, prep the missiles. We'll steal some manpower up here, I guess. Someone was making a nuke. Nuclear warhead ready up there for Vernius. 
What's going on? Vernius is still a governor. We are gonna get... We are gonna get a vote out of that, right? Yes. Yeah, the governor's gonna come up again, so... Someone else will be a governor. I think. We got votes, right? Someone's making votes. Vernius has a bunch. Fremen got a bunch. Alright, yeah, we'll be fine. We just need to take this. Does he have the counselor that's gonna make this take three years? It kinda looks like he does. <laughs> this might be two more months of sieging. Oh lord. Oh lord. We got Vernius over there snagging stuff. I don't like this Vernius stuff going on. We're gonna be over here for three more years before that ever finishes. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take everybody who isn't my healthy Sardaukar and we're gonna fly back to heal. <laughs> Just in case Mr. Healthy Sardaukar here is gonna knock out this airfield. There we go. And then he's gonna stand here. These guys are all gonna heal up back at home. Hopefully no smugglers jump in. Vern is gonna spike. Is Vern spiking right now? He's got there, there. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, over there. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope, here he comes. He's coming back. Fly back, everybody. Drop the missiles. Oh, and then we've got a lands red. Oh my god. Il uh, weak bases. We can make everybody's bases weaker. Let's do that. Yes. Let it happen. Weak bases. And we vote out governorship. Fremen are the only ones up for this. Oh, you don't gotta vote core. Everybody's getting weaker bases, boys. Everybody's getting weakened. Hmm. Ugh. I mean, it's got to, we got to vote for the Fremen, right? The, we assume the Fremen will vote. Uh, we, Vernius can't win. We got to vote for that. Fremen got to be gov. Don't be greedy, doghead. Vote for yourself. We'll deal with the base sniping after that. <sighs> Turn off my own microphone. Doing governor for the Fremen. We have wrecked the smugglers, is the good news. <sighs> Vernius is booming though. We're in big trouble from the Vernius boom. We can do our own, our own research boom. Everybody did get the architectural surveys. Okay, here's what we do. We finish blowing this up and then we fly straight over to the Vernius base. We're never gonna get this. Ugh. We're never gonna get it. We gotta think of maybe a base snipe. Oh, we can't even get up there because he, he broke his treaty with us. We gotta just fly. We gotta just run. It's very far away. Never mind, we gotta stay here. Our only hope is to hope someone deals with Vernius and then maybe we can grab our own things. Yeah, we gotta finish this and then we can take other stuff. We could cap it back there. It's not going to be enough, though. The spice tax is good. We should be selling. Nope. We got to count on the Fremen slowing them down. Missiles. Nothing we can do. Nothing we could do. Good lord. These are 300 to take. That's probably too much. Glad to serve on 
the spearhead of the fleet. The Kronos will take position there. Fremen 20... Uh, who, is there someone we could betray and murder? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. We need, the, we need to take the... I think we'll, we try for the hedge. So we're going to build a research center. We're going to try and finish capturing this. And then, I don't know. I don't know from there. I don't know. 28 on the Fremen, and he's annexing there. Maybe we need to get ready to try to Fremen base snipe, get the Kronos in the back. Trouble is, we're stuck over here forever from the smugglers. Forever. It will never end. We need more Landsrad standing if we're going to do a snipe there. I don't think anyone's getting assassinated. Put some guys back different places. This will happen eventually, in theory. We're like 80% of the way done. We're at 32% chome. I think the Fremen might get it. They're taking the special there. Yeah, oh my god, that is the win right there from the Fremen. And he's going to take that. We gotta stop over there. Fly over there. But I have to hold this too, because this is my only win con. Yeah, Fremen are gonna get it. He's gonna annex right there. Drop missiles on him. <laughs> He's trying to take my backfield. Fly some guys, some back guys up here. We need to win this fight, which I think we should. Arm Sham, start doing your sh your thing, your arm thing. He's good. He's executing. He's doing. He's doing work. Okay, good. We need to get in there. These guys need to get down here ASAP. Okay, I think we've got this at least. You guys start running back to an airfield. There's a nuke going down somewhere. I don't even know it. Oh, he's being nuked here. The, he's nuking the Fremen off of that. We took this. We're up to 28. Spice tax when we would win. We did get him off our backfield. Okay, we got a chance. We got a chance. Oh my god, this is crazy, boys. Some militia up here. Can we grab that? Yeah, we could grab that. Is there anything else we can grab? That. This one's our 340, 310. Not really. There's not really anything else we can get. Take this one here. Is there anything we can grab? Any authority around that map we can grab with Arsham? One there. Any more authority anywhere? Not really. Unless I'm blind. Defeat, Vernius got it. Oh my god, I didn't even see the Vernius happen. I didn't even see the Vernius. How did he do it? How did he do it? He was like, oh man. What a miserable game. Ay, ay, ay. Whew. <laughs> GG, guys. GG. We were close there. We were, uh, what were we at? 29-5, right? And we didn't have anything mm -hmm. else to take, so we needed to spice tax for the win. A Vernius victory. There you have it. There you have it. Oh, that was miserable. <laughs> that was really tough, really miserable. Two and a half hours is the game time. That might not account for the, the bonus speed, but still forever. Oh my god. Knowledge and developments and economy. Yep, we were we were making good good money as as uh as Carino, but not quite there. Everybody was just neck and neck at the end with hegemony. Lands red standing. Uh, look, Vernius was nuking. Uh, I wonder. I wonder how they got that last that last bit. I didn't think they were close to it. Hmm. What a crazy game. Whoa. That's why. It, that's why it stinks to play with good players. <laughs> it takes forever. You never know who's gonna win. Thanks for watching, guys. I am I am somewhat relieved that it's over. Uh, I don't even mind that I'm not playing in the finals. <laughs> GG. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
Just misery, pure misery. 